what picks. This Vitality comp is really exciting. I like it a lot. I think it can be good. One of the things they have to be concerned about is that early prio. So in terms of the mid lane, Fiego does aggressive TP cool. coming in here, trying to shut down SLT. TP going to be matched here. SLT can pull back. One, two on the punch. Haymaker comes in. Leader in the area, but it doesn't really feel like there's a lot of follow-up. Leader just walking in the midst of everybody, getting over the wall, and just goes down. But why? It's, it's hard. I'm still recovering from that, because that was just a very weird play. More action. Leader now running for his life. The route going to connect. El Yoya on the way in. Leader, the flash oh, out. To get over the wall. They hesitated for a second there. Leader now has to just keep running. Oh, Kaiser flash forward. He's here just in time. And this is probably the worst early game leader has had yet this season. That sucks. Middle bit of a fumble there on the top side. It's safe to say into immediately going down in the mid lane again. Yeah, so to kind of quickly go back on the top side, the thing that I really have issue with from leader was the fact that he chased because I think the initial TP to kind of like dissuade the dive was fine. You're ultimately just trading TPs. That's not the end of the world. But then yeah. he goes for that chase and he gets punished for it. Then his wave is at a bit of an awkward spot in mid, but now Vitality trying to answer top. Pull back, big haymaker, where is it going to go? He's still under the tower, but the shield's gonna take him out. Flawlessly done there, SLT grabbing He's that roaming one. and looking to leverage his lead in the other game. Certainly is. Arma walking forward. SLT could be in trouble here, but diving a set is always very difficult to pull back there, trying to tank the tower. Big Haymaker now back under the tower. Humanoid flashing out to safety, finishing the job. That was clean. Now he's trying to make it out. Leader ready to go, but no. Humanoid, the mad lad. He would have died last season, but this season he's on fire. Meanwhile, there's a kill in the bottom lane. That's because it blows proc. And Kaiser needs to finish the kill onto ground shot. The auto, the empowered auto. Enjoy Will it. it be enough? Burning, ticking, damage over time, but he's healing back up. Crown shot's still alive, and he gets another kill. Oh my word. So Vitality's able to. They already know have lost, but they fight them anyway. Um, and I think that yesterday, with a clean performance that they had versus G2, it's the game so very hard for Karzi to play. Good news is, Humanoid has a lot of pseudo tankiness. You've got a Jace who can maybe avoid that. As SLT has to be careful. That's going to be the showstopper. Fishing for the fall. The Haymaker now coming in. Leader looking for a kill. This should be an easy one with the ultimate. Now getting the reset coming through. He's got a cannon form Jace to try to get a little bit more down. Humanoid caught out again. That's a shutdown for Leader. And just like that, very focused on SLT. Determined to take this man off the map. But he can walk forward. Just trying to kill the wave as quick as he can. Haymaker back. Now he's going to throw forward. Alti, a little too late there. And SLT will get taken down. And I just wanted to highlight before this play happened the huge amount of vision investment for his self made. Or is he just. Whoa! Yeah, okay. there's self made. <laughs> that is the classic Evelyn pick. He catches Kazi out of position. Kazi doesn't even bother the flash. He knows that his life is forfeit. And what's interesting is notice his self made doesn't wait for the charm in. He doesn't care. All he cares about is getting his abilities down and one-shotting the enemy he carries in control right now, 15 minutes in. 15 minutes in, again, we talked about it. When they're winning massive gold leads, it's 15 minutes. Still what do they only have? in week three, long split left to go. Playoffs still very far away and a lot can still happen. We've seen crazy stuff happen, especially in the trajectory, and that is very exciting here in the LEC because how well they can challenge against the top team. So let's kind of bring it back into the game. He has both the AD and the AP scaling. Bad news is uh, none of them are going to be enough if uh, Vitality are positioning well, but good use of the Herald damage from Rise is a big deal. Vitality ideally they're pushing in. This is going to be potentially a 50-50 if they want to commit, but no, Vitality just going to burn this one down and walk out. LeBron ready to body block, but there goes the equalize. LeBron now going to try and turn to chain the corruption. Leader coming in. He's invisible for now, but they've already blown up self bait It's a solid start. They're trying to take out Kaiser. They're going to finish the job. He's going to turn into the Nautilus. Immediately, he can all back out to shift. He turns into the rumble. He's going left and right, but it's just not enough. You can turn into whoever you want, but the damage is way too stacked. to fight, and Vitality's composition, again, very powerful. They're going to isolate a single target. Leader, though, caught out here. Has gone over the wall, now going to try to fire back. Forced to ulti out to safety. Ooh, and Mad Lions very much seem ready to take a fight here. The, the threat of poke from Vars is a bit annoying, but they might just commit for this Baron. It's risky. They don't have mid fire right now. Their bot wave's been an awkward spot. Nice they hex might flash. Get it. Good hex flash, good hook. LeBron now has to retreat. Crown shot walking over to try to offer him a way out. Chains of Corruption going to connect with that pick. You can see Matt already threatening again, hoping to catch someone in the fog of war just constantly. If the sustained DPS of a Rise, a Jace, and a Kaisa can thread through this, but self-made, waiting in the darkness. Ulti available, can take him back over the wall if he wants to commit. Are they going to be able to get the 50-50? SLT leaping Ooh, forward. They hurt. lock him up to stop from getting anything else, but that's a big haymaker! Vitality now backing up. Humanoid, they're ready to clean up. They have to be careful. They have to take their time. Self-made. Oh. all back with the last crest, but it's a clean stopwatch. Humanoid playing out of his mind in this fight, but he has to be careful. He gets picked up by the Rebel, but it's going to be bad news. Elioia in the midst of the team. That one, just a bit of miscoordination, and Mad Lion's going to be forced to You highlighted the stopwatch, the positioning from Mad, locking him down, and Vitality now fishing for something, looking a little desperate. Goes golden, tries to buy a bit more space. Self-made stepping forward. They're now on their retreat here, but Lebrov off to the side. Has already used the close blows. Now backing off. Peter off to the side as well. 
as they did against Rogue. And now we'll see if they can wall their way back into this game. Kha'Zix is stepping way too far forward. Just immediately gets popped off there. Leader now backing away, trying to use as much damage as he can. Now locked up. Kaiser getting caught out. And Vettius, I think we call that a caster curse. Humanoid yeah, on the run. And they punish the bot lane from Mad Lions. Just as I tried, yeah. You have much of a choice. This Baron is being melted by the okay. Mad Lions. 4K getting lower and lower. So he doesn't have enough time to get in the pit. They're going to grab this one, but can the fight go in their favor? In the midst of everything is SLT. Keep your eyes on that Haymaker. It's big. But Elliot goes Ghost Golden just in time. Cars in the midst of the pit, though. The dunk down. It's just too massive. SLT refuses to die. And yes, they get the Baron, but Vitality, they take the fight. Once again, Thank forced you. to back away. Every time they throw out an ulti and miss, Mad Lions are just ready to get a fight started. Selfmade waiting on the flank here. Armut now could be in trouble. They're going to try to blow him up before the fight even gets started. But SLT in the middle of everyone does so much damage. Can't Crown shot follow up, can't crown shot finish the job. Where's the next piercing area gonna go? Because Karzi has to run for his life. El Yoya getting chased down as well. No more concussive blows. The run warp taking them out to safety, but it's El Yoya all on his lonesome leader now chasing. Spectral Mod goes wide, but he doesn't need it. El Yoya trying to burn him down. Does he have enough damage? No, he does not. Leader gonna grab that one. Leader. Great job in the five versus five, and now they're looking for another pick. Self made on the hunt. Humanoid. Could get caught out here. The flash forward, the charm, the ulti. It's just too much. He goes golden, but how much time does it actually buy for him? He should just get taken down here. Massive damage now coming in. His leader's going to grab yet another kill. Land is saying, hey, this is a great opportunity for us to fight, but they take zero damage from that ultimate. And then the self made flank along. Boo boo. I need to go back to base. Um, but the thing is, he's created pressure. And simply with that, his ultimate's not on a long cooldown. And now the showstopper. He can be a massive threat in these fights. 30 seconds left on the Baron. Vitality's trying to establish control over the mid lane, but it's SLT who's been caught out. Stridebreaker under the wall, not going to do too much here. Trying to hold on to the Haymaker for now. It's the Equalizer going down. Vitality still fighting in the midst of everything. Self-made alts back into the Equalizer. Leader in trouble. Goes golden for a brief moment. SLT stepping forward, trying to body block for his mid laner. Big stun, big damage. Leader is still alive. Now uses the Empowered Q coming in from the stolen champion as Vitality are just absolutely wiping this fight. LeBron with a flash forward, with a follow. El Yoyo running for the hills, but Self-made is waiting. Self-made in the darkness will not be able to pursue any further. It's a massive fight for Vitality, and it just might be the game. It looked like such a good fight initially for the Mad Lions, but Leader is able to turn things around with a bit of help from SLT. They're going to get three members down. They're looking for the Nexus, and Vitality is looking to continue challenging the top of the table. Oh, yo, you armor the last two left standing. SLT not going to have it. It's a face breaker. It's a showstopper. It's a clean finish for Vitality. It was back and forth, but it's Vitality all the way. A perfect game from Crown Shot, a single death on Self Made. You know what, SLT?